Hey everybody, it is uh, the first day of Noir Vember. So um, you'll be seeing me in black and white for all of my noir reviews, even if I watch some color noirs. Because uh, you really got to be in black, black and white. So I started the week off, or the month off, with um, a creepy cat behind me. No. Um, with uh, this week's Noir Alley pick, it was last week's Noir Alley pick, um, hosted by Eddie Muller. It's Follow Me Quietly. It's from 1949. It's a very, very tight 60 minute um, police investigation noir. Um, if you have TCM and have the Watch TCM app, you can watch it with his introduction and outro, and you get a lot of contextualization of the film, um, how it came to be. Uh, etc etc and some follow-up on the stars which is, is quite great um the film's directed by Richard Fleischer who also did Armored sorry Armored Car Robbery which is one of my favorite noirs Armored Car Robbery is like so good um Follow Me Quietly is about a police detective his boss and a um or sergeant I guess and uh, an investigative journalist who writes for a really, you know, bad crime rag, um, all trying to find a killer known as the judge who is strangling people on uh, rainy nights. And the first crime you do see is the seventh victim. It's a, uh, another news, newspaper um, editor-in-chief who's been strangled and thrown out a window and is trying to dictate his last story as he's dying and also gets really great lines out like, I was wanted to throw something out that window. Never thought it was going to be me. It's really good. Um, so they uh, are trying to find this guy. She's trying to get uh, scoops. Um, he's come up with this theory of who the guy might be. And he's made this really creepy faceless dummy that's just terrifying. And um, it's just a very weird, short, dark gross movie that like also has shoehorned in some happy romance because you know you got to have that and um reminded me aspects of uh, Zodiac actually there are, are parts of it the obsession of the of the detective um and the and his just slowly getting into the mind of the of the criminal reminded me of bits of David Fincher's Zodiac so um perhaps a film that was watched for that I don't know it stars William Lundigan and Jeff Corey as the police officers and Dorothy Patrick as the uh, investigative journalist. Um, this is very much a B film. And again, it's lean, it's mean, it's nasty. It's a great, um, swift, short, uh, to the point crime noir. Um, you can, if you can't, if you don't have TCM and you do want to watch it, it's also available on DVD from Warner Archive Collection. So you can check it out many different ways. Um, I recommend it. It was a good start to the month. I've got mostly a lot of foreign noir I'm going to be watching this year. So um, follow me down the Japanese noir rabbit hole that I started on about two years ago. And uh, there's a bunch that I have left that I'm going to try to watch, plus some French noir. And um, we'll see where I go. And some neo noir. I've got some neo noir. So um, it's going to be a month. Uh, I bought this turban in Porto None specially for Noir Vember. I hope you guys enjoy it. Watch all the noir. Use the hashtag Noir Vember. Um, tell me if you found anything new that's good. If you need recommendations, I'm on Twitter at Old Films Flickr, and I will give you so many recommendations. You have no idea. If you have a mood, if you have a, a feeling, whatever, I'll find a noir for you. I promise. Um, happy Noir Vember 9. I'm so excited. Uh, there's um, Oh, also, if you're in Atlanta, um, the next three Tuesdays, I'll be hosting Noir Vember screenings in um, uh, collaboration with Videodrome Atlanta and uh, the Plaza here at the Plaza Theater. We're, we're showing The Killing, Laura, and Mildred Pierce. It's going to be freaking amazing. So come down for that. And uh, again, happy Noir Vember 9. Oh my God.